Hello everyone and welcome to an Astron Reviews Dune. I got Paul Atreides here from House Atreides. This is from the 2021 Dune movie and toy line by McFarlane Toys. This is the last figure I needed to complete the set and to finish Raban. Uh, it finally came in. So let's get her out of the package. And see if he holds up as good as the other figures do. A little bit of a bio there on the back. Ah, zoom in on it so you can kind of see it. Pause if you want to read. There on the side. So let's get the Kwisat Hatterat out of his package and check him out. All right, and there he is, out of package. He has three accessories. Two are dual knives. They look identical. Just standard uh, knives. I don't see anywhere, really, they can go for storage. And he's got his Primum Blade, that the name of it escapes me at the time. This will be what I'll display him with. This is the believe that they hold to the story. This is the same blade he uses to kill Fade if they ever get around with the second movie. Now then, take a look at the figure. Bring him up closer so you can see. Uh, might have had a little bit of wash to the light. LEDs making it look paler on camera than it is in real person but sculpting and detail is all there just exactly what you'd expect from a McFarlane figure and from this line in particular he has all the same articulation as Duncan, Jessica, and Stilgar uh, the likeness to the actor is pretty well spot on Really wish I could find the spot these would go. Also, this is the only one that does not come with the backpack accessory that uh, Jessica and Stilgar do. Well, did Duncan have one? I don't think he did. They're in the other room, so I can't exactly say. That would be Misty saying hi to everyone. All right. That's a precarious fit. There we go. May your blade chip and shatter. Try to give him a somewhat interesting pose. I don't recall him using a second blade. I know he didn't. Hang on a minute. Let me get that in there. That looks about right for the Fremen salute. Uh, the one thing I'd have to say, and this is just the design of the steel suits. I understand the way they reason why they went with this. I believe this is how it's described in the book. Uh, but I did prefer the nose pieces so it doesn't obscure the character, the actor's faces. Oh my God! I just said that. Someone who constantly complains about superheroes never wearing their masks. 
because actors don't want to obscure their faces. But anyway, uh, for displaying purposes, I kind of want to see the full sculpt. Uh, I have thought about taking them off of the figures since they're easy enough to pop their heads off and change them out. But then it runs into, as you'll see in some of my future videos on Transformers, I have a tendency of misplacing the little small accessories if they're not important. His other things he comes with are Raban's legs. And this is why we need a series two when a movie next movie comes out so we can get Fade and Shawnee and probably Emperor Shaddam IV. So these look like they're keyed. This is for the right. So that should be this leg. Oh, just like those arms, it ain't gonna go in there. Hang on a second. That took doing. His left leg. That doesn't feel like it's seating quite all right. Now, where Bond does not have a stand, but he's got really big old feet. So, he should be able to stand without a problem. And there we have our Bond. Fully completed. He's got the same toe tilt and ankle pivots, all the same articulation. I can tell you his hips will be encumbered because of the uh, sash that he is wearing. Basically, he's just going to stand there and look menacing. Might well get a good thro sword throwing pose. Whips don't hold like that. There we go. Um... That is a very good sculpt for the face. He'll look good on his uh, display stand with uh, Baron Harkonnen, his uncle, because the giant flying fat man, uh, he does not have any articulation whatsoever. So he just kind of sits there on a pedestal and I think that'd be a good place to put Raban. I'll be putting Paul with the others and uh, that's all I really got to say about this one there's really nothing new to add to uh, my feelings on it if you've seen the other Dune uh, reviews you, you know what I think of the hi Misty hi Misty um, you know how I feel about the, uh, movie. So, this has been Astron, and I will see you guys next time. Be good to each other, and always be better than you were the day before.